Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Diabetes and Hormone Health. Uh, myself, Dr. Prem Narayana, uh, MBBS MD, GM Endocrinology, Consultant Endocrinologist. So, uh, in this video, I will be talking to you about the selection of cooking oils in diabetics. So, cooking oil, you all know that uh, it's one of the most uh, controversial topics always and uh, people have always uh, have a lot of doubts about it so i will be trying to clarify your uh, common questions that are asked to uh, about the uh, cooking oils in diabetics so what are oils basically oils are basically liquid fats so so it is a simple it is a fatty substance and so uh, what is the effect of oils on blood glucose nil that is there is no direct effect of oils on blood glucose because the glycemic index of oils is zero that means the oils does not contain any carbohydrates so then what are we worried about these fats so the worrying fact is that fats can increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases that means it can increase the risk of blockage of the blood vessels as you can see in this picture the normal blood vessel and the blood vessel blocked by fatty deposits so this is a worrying fact for us uh, fats, what are the, uh, uh, basically it contains triglycerides, that is a major component. Triglyceride means there is a glycerol backbone as you can see and different types of fatty acids will be attached to this glycerol backbone. You can see in three different colors, three fatty acid chains attached to it. Uh, so what are the different types of fatty acids that we know is the saturated fatty acids and the unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids means nothing, you can see as in the picture. There is only carbon carbon single bond and uh, unsaturated means there will be uh, double bonds in the carbon carbon structure uh, uh, there can be one double bond or more than one double bond uh, so if it is uh, one double bond it is called as mono that means single unsaturated fatty acid and it is more than one double bond it is poly unsaturated fatty acids so what are the saturated oils that we use in our day-to-day uh, -day life First one, palm oil. Palm oil is one of the most commonly used and easily and cheaply available uh, oil. Uh, yeah, and uh, apart from that, there is other saturated fatty uh, oils are the uh, coconut oil, vanaspati and ghee. So what are the problem with these saturated oils is that saturated oil fats can increase the LDL cholesterol levels and this increase LDL cholesterol level or the bad cholesterol can increase the risk factor for cardiovascular diseases like the heart attack, stroke or even the other blood vessel blockages. So that is the most important problem with the saturated oils. And we all know uh, uh, that uh, uh, the saturated oils have a, a particular texture so that and also a flavor. So that is why palm oil and all are commonly used for most of the confectionaries and chocolates that are available in our market. So you have to be uh, very careful uh, about these things, uh, selecting the uh, of the confectionaries or chocolates, uh, it's very important. Then there is mono unsaturated fatty acids. That means single double bond will be present. Which are the mono unsaturated fatty acids uh, or the oils that we use? Are the one is a olive oil. Then is, there is a canola oil, the mustard oil, and groundnut oil. So the uh, the first three contains very good amount of the mono unsaturated fatty acids, and groundnut oil contains about fifty percentage of the unsaturated fatty acids. So the advantages or the uh, uh, benefits will be that it can reduce the LDL cholesterol level and to some extent the triglycerides and olive oil has also been shown in studies that it can improve the insulin levels also. So that is one advantageous point with the olive oil that we see. And there is another group that is a polyunsaturated fatty acids like the sunflower oil, safflower oil and soya bean oil. This also uh, should be used in moderate amounts only because uh, uh, even increased consumption can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease studies are there. Then, very importantly is the trans fats. Trans fats are basically unsaturated fatty acids with a particular structure. Commonly these trans fats are seen in the cakes, cookies, fried potatoes, the potato chips like the french fries or even the uh, corn chips or the nachos, breads, all these contain high amount of trans fats. So that is very important because trans fats have a lot of negative effects like it can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease that is a heart attack or strokes then increase the risk of diabetes then we increase the risk of various cancers like the breast cancer or colon cancer and also increase the risk of obesity and hence the metabolic syndrome so we will have to be very careful about taking the trans fats then vanaspati one of the commonly used uh, 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 saturated oil it is very high in trans fats and it should be avoided in your day to day routine 
consumption. Then, which are the other oils that are better for various uh, uh, cooking purposes? Deep frying, extra virgin olive oil, or even coconut oil are good. Uh, coconut oil has a good stability also. Then, shallow frying, extra virgin olive oil, sunflower oil, canola, or the mustard oil can be used for shallow frying. And for roasting, coconut oil, groundnut oil, mustard oil, or sunflower oil can be used. So, so for depending on your purpose, the various oils can be used with. And then, what is the problem with the reusage of oils? So, while reusing, there will be production of more oxidation products, and which can increase the risk of blockage in the blood vessels and also increase the risk of blood pressure or the hypertension. Then, what is the problem with the too much usage of the oils? Yes, free radicals will be generated by its metabolism, which can damage the proteins and also DNA and increase the risk of even malignancies. Then, if, uh, word about the virgin oils. What are virgin oils? Virgin oils are unrefined oils and they contain good amount of the antioxidants but it is not suitable for high temperature cooking so virgin oils extra virgin oils are better used for the uh, salads as dressings and also for low temperature cooking like a sauteing. And so the undisputed facts about oil, least oil is the best and there is no single oil that is good enough so multiple oils that is various purposes various oils should be used. Uh, if you ask me, um, we use uh, four different types of oil uh, with the inclusion of the olive oil also in certain preparations. Reheated or recycling of the oils are very harmful, so do not do that. Then virgin oils is healthier than refined oils because of good antioxidant content. Olive oils are supposed to be heart healthy, yes, and trans fats are not at all heart healthy. So the final word will be use or moderate amounts of oils only and a balance between the usage of the different oils is very much required and do not go for blended oils you recently you will see that uh, very advertisements uh, uh, showing that blending of oils that it is heart healthy etc etc don't fall for all these advertisements you uh, know about the facts about oils and for different preparations different oils can be used that is always a better option other than going for this falling for this industry driven advertisements Thank you. I hope it, is, it was useful and if you want to know more about uh, all this diabetes and hormone health, you can subscribe to my channel.